Uh, let's now calculate the wavelength of the emitted photon. In the previous tutorial, we found that delta E was equal to negative 4.08 times 10 to the power negative 19 joules. We know that delta E is equal to H H nu, which is equal to H C over lambda. We know that frequency is equal to speed of light over uh, lambda. Delta E is equal to Hc over lambda. Then we make lambda the subject of the formula. Lambda, which is wavelength, is equal to Hc over delta E. Now we can uh, replace the values. H, Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 minus 34 joule second then speed of light 2.9979 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second then over delta E 4.08 times 10 minus 19 joules. Then you cancel the joule. The second cancels. The only unit remaining is the meter. When you do the manipulation, you find that the lambda is equal to 4.86 times 10 minus 7 meters. So this is the wavelength of the photon emitted. Now, we, we did not, uh, note that for this calculation, the absolute value of energy delta E is used. We do not include the negative sign. The, the negative sign in this case simply indicates the direction of the flow of energy. We can say that a photon of wavelength 4.86 times 10 to the power negative 7 meters has been emitted from the hydrogen atom. If we were to use the negative value for energy, we would find a negative wavelength which was not going to make any physical sense. So the negative simply shows the direction for the flow of energy. In this case, since it's negative, it's emission. If the change, if delta E was positive, it was going to be absorption. So this is how we can calculate the energy of the emitted photon. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the quantum numbers. Uh, and we also look at the quantum mechanical model of the atom. Thank you.